fit is really giving. Y'all can't see this whole thing, but let me stand up so y'all can see. Like, the fit is it's giving brunch. It's giving brunch and that's good because today we are going on another adventure. So I asked you guys what video you wanted this week because I have a specific video that I've been working on. It's no secret, it's the mermaid vlog. It is going up in flames. Like I'm fighting for my life with that vlog. I don't know when it's gonna see the light of day, but I don't wanna miss any weeks. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to know <laughs> what kind of vlog y'all wanted for this week. And I did a poll and everyone said they wanted to see a Hungry Bookworm video. If you don't know, Hungry Bookworm videos are where I go to different restaurants in my city or in my state or whatever and take y'all with me and read a book. And it's just like a reading vlog, but trying different restaurants. I've really been on this brunch kick. So I figured we could go to brunch together. And as soon as I saw that winning on the poll, which I was surprised by, because I think I've only done like two videos for that series. I was surprised to see that, but I'm excited because I wanted to put more there anyway. I know exactly where I want to take you guys. And I'm going to take you guys to, I think it's called the Breakfast Brothers. Let me check to make sure to the Breakfast Boys. So I'm gonna take you guys to a place called The Breakfast Boys. I have not been here before, but I've heard really good things about it. And like I said, I've been trying to go to different brunch places and explore more because your girl just be at work, in the gym, and reading books. But there's so much more to life and just years and life just will pass you by if you don't pay attention to it. So I've just been trying to explore more and my biggest thing is definitely going to brunches. So today we're gonna go to The Breakfast boys together i already know what i'm getting because i'm a tourist so i already looked up the menu i know exactly what i want and i'm excited to bring you guys with me however i don't know let me take my hood down shall i don't know what book i want to read i have an idea of what book i want to read but i figured i'd like read the first chapter of a few books to see which one i was feeling more but then i'm like now i'm pressed for time and i want to get there before everybody and their mama get there so I'm gonna look at my shelves over here and see what I want. I think I know what book I wanna pick just so that I could get a good chunk of it done in this video, but I'm not 100% sure. So just give me a second. I All right, so I have three books here. I know which one y'all gonna want me to read, but I don't know. We have three books here. I really need to be reading one of the books that I've already started, but that's ne neither here nor there. Like okay so these are the three books that are calling to me the first one is seven days in june now everybody and their mama has been telling me to read this book and it's just one of the books that are super hyped and the longer i don't read it the more i'm scared to read it and i recently saw yanni reading it on her story and i'm like damn and then i put this on my june tbr so i'm just like I should be reading this like this is uh, this is on my June TBR but I have not even picked this book up because I've just been trying to focus on the mermaid vlog show and and all its failures but it's okay ain't burned all the bright and I picked this one up only because it's like a poetry book but it's mostly pictures so I feel like this would be fun to bring because I know I would probably be able to finish either finish it today or finish a good chunk of it so I really think this is gonna be one of the books and then the third book that I have is Glint, which I believe this is the second book in the Plated Prisoner series. And the first book, y'all already know how I felt about the first book. I was, ooh, the inside, purr, that's beautiful. Damn, that's pretty. Ugh, I love this cover. As y'all know, the first book, like, almost 60% of the book, I was like, what are we doing? When it was a 60, I think it was either 40 I got I think I got to like 40% and I was like this is so boring like this is what everybody was talking about but then as soon as I stopped filming that video I'll link it up above so you guys can check it out but as soon as I stopped filming that's when everything excited started happening in the book and I was just like eating my words because all the interesting stuff happened after and then I ended up buying a special edition copy of the series directly after i was just talking so much smack about it but this has been really calling to me recently i read a book that had like fairies and stuff in it and it kind of has put me in the mood to read this i really want to start this but i know y'all want me to read seven days of june chill so maybe this should be the vlog that 
I actually started. I was gonna read a chapter from each, but with these, I feel like, I feel like these are gonna be R2. First of all, they match. They really just go together well, and they match my nails. My nails are painted blue right now. This is the last month that I will not be having my extendos. Next month, the extendos are coming back full force. I'm settled into my new job. I'm comfortable with what I'm building. It's time to bring the nails back. So this is gonna be my last month with these most these short nails. My nails actually go really fast. I just keep cutting them because they just, I, if I'm gonna have long nails, I would rather have the extendos. Like I, I don't, my nails grow way too fast. I keep them cut. I like them looking nice and clean. Either they are gonna, cause having them different sizes, it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Okay, I know I'm, I'm veering off, but I think these are gonna be our two books. Ain't Burned All the Bright and Seven Days in June. I'm actually currently in the middle of reading Fantasia by Desiree which is like the fourth book in her Moon Children series and I'm just eating it up like that girl her characters and her families and her writing is just so addicting like it's just like a black soap opera drama chaotic problematic characters but generations of drama and it's just fun to follow along like it's just fun to follow along so I'm on the fourth book in that I really wanted to read that but for this video I think I'm going to pick these two up I, I don't know i'm not gonna be able to finish it but we can at least Ooh, these letters Ooh, this font is small child okay yeah i'm a little nervous <laughs> like it's one of the books where it's like it's taking me so long to read i just i'm a little bit nervous about this but these are going to be our two books we're going to go get some brunch and then i'm going to come back and get my saturday started so child wish me luck i love the cover the cover is beautiful. Look at that. Love the cover. So the cover is really pretty. I'm hoping I enjoy what I do read. I plan on being there for a while. So just enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying the food. They have some really good food there. So chill. we gonna see. Let me put my little hood back on. Chill. I'm quite a little red riding hood. Such a look. I love it. Ah, I wish I had my shades. I don't know where my... I think my shades are in my car. But yeah, we're going to get going and get this vlog started. So I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye.
wait Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave here in my grandma chic to close the vlog out so let's talk about where i want to go eat so i want to go eat at the breakfast boys first the hardest part was finding parking i really miss the days where it's like when you went to a restaurant you knew it would be like a parking lot where you would just park like all these like parking garages or like side street things like I, that's the only thing I hate about going out to eat and because I've been like going out more because you know it's summertime it's time to go outside you know what I'm saying but because I've been going out more like the parking situation is always frustrating because it's always like street parking or parking garages or whatever like I just miss going to a restaurant and it's just like an open lot where I just park no valet no all this other extra shit whatever it took me like 10 extra minutes to find parking found parking I went to the wrong restaurant at first I was like because I, I, don't, I don't know why I thought the original restaurant I went to was the right place. But I was in the wrong restaurant. So then I had to walk a little bit further down. I went to the breakfast boys. Y'all. That food. I feel like if anyone ever came to visit Atlanta. And they asked for like a brunch recommendation. I would recommend them that spot. Because like. It was just, it was very busy, it was very chaotic, you know, whatever, like, very loud, but I don't mind it. Like, it wasn't like a cafe, small, intimate moment. Like, it was very busy, it was packed, it was loud, but, like, the food, like, if you went with a whole a group of people and you really just wanted really good food and really good drinks, the vibes would be immaculate. Like, obviously, I was there by myself, but y'all know how I get down. If I want to do something, I'm going to go by myself. I have been making a lot of new friends, though. So, I, I have been going out with my friends and stuff like that. But, beside the point, if I want to go somewhere, I'll go by myself regardless. So, like, I really enjoyed it. Like, the drink was really good. I got, like, it was like a lemonade, like a lemonade mimosa. It was really good. And it had, like, blueberries in it. For my appetizer, I got, like, salmon egg rolls. Oh, my God. Like, it was just, like, one of those things where it's, like, it just made me want to just shake somebody. It just made me want to find the chef and just be, like, thank you for your services. Like, this food is immaculate. Like, please don't stop what you're doing. Like, it was just, like, creamy and, like, the egg roll was crunchy and the spices and the flavors were there. And then it had, like, this dipping sauce that was really good. I just was, like, 
bruh this is that was like a 10 out of 10 then i got it was like catfish catfish and shrimp like grits oh my god like 10 out of 10 like there was nothing i would change there was nothing that nothing i would change like it had tomatoes spinach corn grits shrimp and catfish and it was like a good amount like it, it wasn't like one of them little dainty you know brunches whatever it was like a full amount and it had so much flavor it was like the fish and the seafood and stuff was crunchy it just i'm so glad that i went there because now i know a place to take people when they come to visit atlanta or to recommend people if they ask for recommendations so I loved it. I highly recommend it. If you're in Atlanta or if, I mean if you're in Georgia or if you're in if you come visit here I highly recommend checking out the Breakfast Boys. It was really really good. I was trying to go there as soon as they opened so that I wouldn't be there while I was busy because the traffic was also a nightmare but it is what it is. I took y'all. had a good time. Sorry this video is late. My social life is a little chaotic right now. I have too much going on. I I'm really struggling with balance. There's a video that I'm doing that I'm I'm really really behind on that I'm not enjoying so <laughs> It's just been bad. Like the content right now has it's just been bad. I'm doing my best, but I did finish Jason Reynolds' book, which was like a picture book. It basically was just like a poetry book with artwork in it. It was just very simple. It was basically based off of like, you know, 2020 events, COVID, a lot of the Black Lives Matter riots and like the news and stuff like that but it had like a lot of art in it it was really beautiful I enjoyed it I'm glad that I read it and I wanted to read more of this because I got like 10 pages in while I was there because I was really focusing on Jason Reynolds book and then I got like 10 pages I got the literally the receipt from the from brunch right here but I got like 10 pages into this but I'm like I wanted to read more of it so I can give you guys more of an update so I read up to page 50 in seven days in June and it's I, I don't know this is the second book that I've read by this author and it's something about her writing where it's just like too much information like it just feels like an editor didn't scrub through this like it just feels like she just dumps it's not info dumpy but it's just like unnecessary information like she will write four sentences for something that could be summed up in one sentence it was the same feeling i had with another book that i read by her that was called like the perfect find or something like that and it just she has a she still writes like that like she still writes like that and i don't know i just just the dumping of the the over doing of the writing is just driving me a little bit crazy in the beginning it didn't feel like that but once we got into like shane's chapter and some of the things that were going on with Eva, like when we backflashed to like her childhood, it just felt very dumpy. Like it just felt like the pages would, it would be like 15 pages long and it could be easily five. Like, like that. But for the most part, I am in, I, I don't know, so, I don't want to say I'm enjoying it. I haven't gotten far enough to say if I'm enjoying it or not. But I do like how the book started. It had me cracking up. Like <laughs> to have your own little session to make yourself feel good while chewing gum was a choice in itself like it she she it was a choice in itself but i love the opening of the book because it had me cracking up i enjoyed the first chapter more than anything like there was like a paragraph in there where it was like one of these like white fans that were saying like oh my son played plays basketball at this college and like whenever i see the black players i just like fantasize about them and it just was like okay like wildly inappropriate but it just was like it's interesting to see how like she's fought so hard to get her success but she wants more and she wants to reach a different audience and she wants to be known for more so i'm excited to see eva learn more about who she is as an author and hopefully see her branch out more i was like i guess I, I really enjoyed her chapter her daughter is funny like i just enjoyed the whole first chapter i really just enjoyed like the beginning of the book and then like the backflash to like her childhood was unfortunate she had a terrible childhood and then we went to shane's chapter it the writing it's just the writing like I, i'm just gonna say it's just the writing but like when we got to change chapter we got to get to know him or whatever and i stopped once she got to the conference where she's gonna be like on a panel or something like that and he's going to see her so i haven't actually seen them interact i haven't seen them any of their backflashes i don't know why they broke up or whatever but i know they're both they both were struggling with their own inner demons so i mean i pretty much can figure out 
you know why they broke up or what the reason was but i haven't actually seen them interact but that's where i'm at with this i'm gonna read more of it but the font is tiny and like i said she be <sighs> blabbering i don't want to say info dumping because it's not info info dumping it's literally blabbering it's like blabbering on page but i feel like once i see them interact hopefully like the romance aspect of it and like them together hopefully i enjoy it more but that's where i'm at with that enjoyed brunch happy that i got to take y'all along with me so that's it let me i really enjoyed doing this i really like doing the hungry bookworm vlogs because i'm always going out to eat so those are always a vibe <laughs> I don't know when the Little Mermaid vlog is going to come out. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It's taken everything in me not to just scrap it because everything has been going wrong with that video. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it really has just been a video from hell. But happy to get this up for you guys. Had a good time filming it. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I got and the updates. Let me know if you guys have read Seven Days in June and if you've enjoyed it or any, if you have similar issues with, like, the writing style, let me know. Um, fingers crossed that I actually finish it this month because it's been on my TBR for quite a while. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember to read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. Oh, if you made it to the end of this video, please leave this. Bing, bing. This emoji right her in the comment section below. Let me know something that you're doing this week or something that you have done over the weekend or that recently happened that made you happy. I hope everybody ha is having a good june so far and that you know we're halfway through the year whatever your goals are they don't have to be completely accomplished but double down on them guys double down on your goals and, and, and accomplish them okay i'll see you guys in the next video bye